Hey guys and welcome to day 7 of the 7 day organizational challenge. Today is the last day. Today I'm tackling my upstairs linen closet and in conjunction with it being our linen closet I also keep medicines in here as well. We keep a lot of extra linens because we do have family that comes and visit us somewhat often so we keep a lot of extras for them. So this closet just needed to be gone through, kind of refolded some things, taking some things out, repositioning some things just to make it function a little bit better for us. So all of these videos this week have been in collaboration with Jessica. She's a stay at home mom to two little girls as well. All of her information will be left down below. Make sure you go and watch her. She's awesome. It's so funny, me and Jessica were joking because we've tackled a lot of the same areas in our house. We both did underneath our kitchen sink, our bathroom, some other areas in our kitchen as well. So I think it's super funny that both of us had very similar areas in our home that needed to be organized. Did you guys find that as well watching our videos? That you guys needed organization in same, some of the same spots? But because today is the last day of the organizational challenge, I just wanted to let you guys know I had so much fun doing this. And if you did this along with me, thank you for participating. It's been so fun. I'm really happy that I ended up doing this challenge with Jessica. It allowed me to take some time and focus on parts of my home that I wouldn't have normally focused on. And especially right before winter, I'm so happy I did this. I got rid of a lot of excess things that we were just kind of holding on to. So I'm super happy that Jessica allowed me to do this challenge with her. I feel much more prepared heading in for the long winter, having knowing that I took some time and organized these areas of my home. So I'm just going to go through both of these little medicine buckets. Some things I'm getting rid of and some things I'm just organizing. I wanted one basket to be cold and flu and one basket to be kind of extra stuff. And then we have another bin that's specifically just for the kids medicine. I really wanted to go through this stuff, especially before we hit cold and flu season. So I made sure that we had everything if we needed to restock on some stuff. Because there's nothing worse than being sick or having a sick kid and realizing you don't have what you need and then having to run out to the store. It's just such a pain. So if I could stock up now before that happens, that would be great. <laughs> And as you can see, I had Lakin, my super nice little helper here with me today. <laughs> she is such a mama girl. She just never wants to leave my side. So she's pretty much attached to my hip wherever I go. So I'm just going to start putting all of these bins back in. So here's another look at the before and London with her little dinosaur <laughs> and the much prettier after. I'm really happy with how this closet turned out as I am with most of the projects I did this week. So if you want to watch more, I'll leave my playlist and Jessica's playlist down below. If you haven't gone and checked out her channel yet this week, make sure you do that. Let her know that I sent you. And if you're coming over from Jessica's channel, thank you so much. It would mean so much to me if you would subscribe because I make some awesome videos myself, just like Jessica. And I hope to see you there. Bye.